it going and who might be behind it, scientists have finally unraveled the mysteries of ANU Amua. For a long time, it was unclear whether this interstellar visitor was a natural object or if the 1000M long flying object concealed some kind of alien technology. The latest findings by scientists are both disturbing and fascinating. We may never see such an object again. NASA is still considering sending a probe after AMU Amua to seize this unique opportunity, but will it be possible to catch up with the fastest traveling space object of all time before it moves on? AMU Amua is a mystery. The object appeared unexpectedly on astronomer radar screens and caused an uproar for weeks. Pan stars in Hawaii discovered the strange guest when it had just shot a hair's breadth past the Earth. If AMU Amua had been an asteroid on a collision course, it could have looked dark, but we were lucky, the trunk missed the Earth. However, the astronomers were still shocked. How could they have missed Amua for so long? At the beginning, an asteroid report was promptly issued. The PanStars project in Hawaii scans the night sky to immediately detect possible asteroids and comets near Earth. Everything that appears on the screen is, therefore, initially classified as an asteroid, and so AMU Amua was also classified as an asteroid. But it soon became clear that this could not be right. Too fast, too misshapen, too mysterious. What would you think if I told you that a 1000M long cigar was hurtling through our solar system faster than any object ever built by humans and faster than any asteroid, heading straight for us? The scenario is bizarre, and astronomers who received the first measurement data after sighting the previously unknown object felt the same way. 1000M long, narrow, dark material, unknown speed, 315,000 km per hour. These were shocks for the scientists who were expecting an asteroid or comet. The Parker Solar Probe is considered to be the fastest spacecraft ever built by us, and in phases of the most extreme acceleration, it only reaches around 700,000 km per hour. An ordinary asteroid travels at speeds between 25,000 and 880,000 km per hour. And just imagine a Dragon space capsule, it does through space at around 28,000 km per hour. The speed alone made it clear, this object is not normal. The next shock was revealed by trajectory calculation. Computer programs traced the probable previous path of the mysterious object and came up with an origin somewhere in the constellation Lyra. This made it clear that this strange flying object came from outside our solar system and was not an asteroid or comet at all. The object was given the name 1 IA 2017 U1 AMU Amua. The Hawaiian name means scout from a foreign world. Then the calculations and research began. What was this thing, and above all, where was it going? Using the best telescopes in the world, scientists tried to catch a glimpse of Amua, but the object hardly reflected any light. Even close to the sun, AMU Amua seemed to be invisible, or it was supposed to remain invisible. An alien probe? It was the unpleasant truth scientists had to face. AMU Amua is not only a most peculiar and rare interstellar guest but possibly a well-camouflaged technological object. The first person to use terms such as extraterrestrial probe was the American scientist, AAB. It is to him that we owe the most detailed theories about AMU Amua's real origin and possible intentions. How did AAB come up with his ideas? First of all, we have to admit that any craft traveling so fast and shaped so strangely could be a spaceship. Although science is very cautious here, we have to expect a visit from another civilization from outer space at any time. We don't know whether there is life in the universe and whether aliens have spaceships with which they can reach us. Further measurements seem to confirm A's theory. Just imagine, AMU Amua is like a stone on the outside, rough, uneven, yet remarkably smooth on the inside. However, the measurement data revealed metal values, so it's no wonder that researchers came up with the idea that AMU Amua could be a probe disguised as an asteroid. All attempts to contact the object were unsuccessful. Amua did not emit any measurable radiation or dust particles. This fact was seen by proponents of the alien probe theory as another telltale detail because natural rocks flying through space at high speeds always blow some dust or fine material into the environment. Comets, especially when they come closer and closer to the sun, emit clouds of dust and ice, which we know as beautiful comet tails. 
but ANU Amua was so smooth, so clean, so dark and metallic that it seemed highly suspicious. What are aliens looking for in our solar system? Can you imagine aliens sending a probe to us to see who we are and what we do? Perhaps AMU Amua was sent off without a specific destination and just happened to pass by us. Or a suspicious species didn't want other creatures to recognize their space probe and possibly destroy it. We are not in the habit of camouflaging our probes, and we often even attach greetings to them in case they are found by other creatures in space. The Voyager probes have golden and extremely durable discs on board that can be played by any intelligent race. Many an expert has called this pure madness because we don't know who or what lives out there in space. Critics call it pure madness to simply send data about our genome and our technological status into space. For an aggressive species, this might be the very information that would make us a worthwhile target. So we really do have interstellar trust in God, only the future will tell whether this is sensible or not. Other species might not be so adventurous and prefer to camouflage their probes. Possibly AMU Amua is an object like our Voyager probes. At some point, the probe was launched somewhere, and after the end of its main mission, it possibly flew on and on. The trajectory showed that AMU Amua must be hundreds of thousands of years away from its possible place of origin in the constellation Lyra. Possible change of course. If you know anything about space travel and the exploration of the solar system, then you know that we can't just send probes straight through the solar system. The spacecraft are always subject to the gravitational influences of the planets and the sun. They move in elliptical orbits, and we also use the gravitational forces of the planets as clever accelerators to hurl probes millions of kilometers. Every natural object moves through the solar system on orbits like these. So far, we know very little about interstellar space, but even then, objects will fly bound by certain forces and follow certain orbits or come under the influence of stars. This is exactly how scientists have calculated the possible origin of Amua back to the constellation Lyra. But then the unbelievable happened, Amua flew close to the sun in a maneuver that could not possibly be performed by a natural flying object. The probe slowed down, then abruptly changed course and accelerated again. The acceleration maneuver could not be explained by any known physical force and suggested that Amua may have an invisible propulsion and control system. It was later speculated that Amua could be made of a mineral unknown to us, which could naturally explain the maneuver. What was Amua really? Will we ever know what Amua really is? The scientists would like to. It's a once-in-a-lifetime chance to study an object from an alien world. Before we look at how realistic our chances of catching up with Amua, let's take a look at the most common theories as to what the object is. Apart from the alien probe, the image of an interstellar comet has gained the most acceptance. One theory suggests that Amua could be a very unusual comet, after all, its emitted gases may not have been visible as it approached the sun. But the theory would explain its unexpected acceleration. The next explanation is that Amua could be a fragment of a larger object that collided somewhere in interstellar space, leaving Amua with its unusual shape and orbit. Perhaps Amua also represents a class of objects in interstellar space that we have not yet discovered and understood, its unusual properties and behavior may indicate that other physical forces are at work elsewhere in the universe and that there are materials that we do not know from our solar system. We would love to find out the truth about Amua. After all, we can still catch up with Amua, but how? Do you catch up with an object that is hurtling through space at such a speed? Despite its extraordinary speed and the fact that it has already passed through our solar system, we have a realistic chance of catching up with Amua before it leaves the solar system. At the heart of all considerations is the use of the latest technologies and gravitational assistance maneuvers to achieve the necessary speed and bridge the now enormous distance. One plan aims to design a probe with an extremely powerful propulsion system. Under discussion are ion-powered motors that can deliver constant thrust over long periods of time. This technology, combined with skillful flybys of planets, could gradually bring a probe to a speed that exceeds Amua's brisk pace. Nevertheless, the calculation does not yet add up, which is why the probe is not yet in the concrete planning stage. Other scientists have suggested a special light sail that uses sunlight or even artificially generated laser beams as propulsion. 
it's possible that the situation with our AMUA will now spur us on to go far beyond our technological capabilities. The Breakthrough Starshot project is working on nanosatellites that should be able to travel a long distance to our neighboring star system in just a few years. Tiny spaceships could theoretically accelerate to the speed of light and reach distant destinations. Breakthrough Starshot plans to equip the probes, which are only a few centimeters in size, with cameras and a few simple measuring devices. The target was actually the exoplanets in the Proxima Centauri system. AMUA could possibly be a kind of test run for the project. We'll have to wait until NASA or another institution really has a plan that is technologically and financially feasible. Are you wondering why we can't look at AMUA with a super telescope like the James Webb? AMUA is relatively small, with a length of about 1000 m, which makes it extremely difficult even for the powerful Webb telescope to capture detailed images. In addition, AMUA is already far out in the solar system where there is hardly any light, and AMUA's speed is also an obstacle that is difficult for Webb to overcome. Undoubtedly, black holes are some of the scariest phenomena in the universe, and now it could turn out that black holes played a far greater role in the young universe than previously thought. A new astronomical record has now announced the incredible discovery of the oldest and most mysterious black hole in the universe. We have the ingenious new space telescope James Webb to thank for this discovery. Nevertheless, you can imagine that Penrose's idea still met with fierce resistance at the time. Those who protested the loudest against the idea of a constantly recreating universe were precisely the scientists who now stand in front of Webb's pictures with long faces and describe these clearly real galaxies and black holes as impossible. Webb's finding did not yet prove the CCC, but they do open the door to new ways of looking at things, and completely new cosmological ideas become a subscriber now. There are many more exciting videos to come.